Now here we have a quadratic, 15 minus x is greater than 2x squared, in which the terms are not generally in the right order. Normally we get used to solving quadratic inequalities where it's greater than or less than 0. And here we have a 2x squared on this side. So what I'm going to do is subtract 2x squared from both sides. And doing that I get 15 minus x minus 2x squared is greater than 0. Next I've got this negative x squared term and I just don't like having negative x squared terms in my quadratic. So I can get over this problem by multiplying both sides by negative 1. And if I do that I get minus 15 plus x plus the 2x squared. But you've got to be very careful here. If you multiply by a negative 1, or any negative number for that matter, you must turn the inequality around so it becomes less than 0. Now this is not in the right order. Let's have the x squared term at the front, then the x and then the constant. So if I rearrange it now, I therefore have 2x squared, then the plus x, and then minus 15 is less than 0. So now I've got to factorise that, assuming it does factorise, and in this particular one it does. If it didn't, you can use the quadratic formula. So we factorise this, and we would have two brackets. Okay, don't forget the less than zero on the end. And if you factorise this, it's got to be a 2x there and an x there to give 2x squared. And then two numbers that multiply together to be minus 15, that would be a minus 5 and a plus 3, and it will go in here, minus 5 plus 3, in that order. Because you can see that what we'll get is minus 5x and plus 6x here, which would make the plus x in the middle, and minus 5 times plus 3 would be minus 15. Okay, next... As usual, we find the critical values. So for the critical values, okay, what we have is that it's when 2x minus 5 times x plus 3 equals 0. That will be when 2x minus 5 equals 0 or the other factor x plus 3 equals 0. And to solve this, those critical values would be uh, x equals 5 over 2, if we just rearrange that one. And if we re rearrange the next one, x is clearly negative 3. Don't forget now, what we do is we sketch a graph. Don't forget to label your axes, x and y. And we sketch the graph of the function that gave these critical values. And you can be careful again here because those critical values came from this equation here. Okay? So plot the graph then of y equals 2x squared plus x minus 15. Those critical values were the values that made y equal to 0 and that would be where the graph would cross the x-axis. and It crossed the x-axis then at minus 3 and 5 over 2. So minus 3 I'll assume is somewhere there and 5 over 2, 2 and a half, just slightly closer to the y-axis so we'll assume it's there, 5 over 2. And what we have is a positive x squared term which makes the graph a u-shaped parabola so we'll come down through the minus 3 and up through the 5 over 2 so we have a parabola something like that okay from the graph what we're looking for is this particular value y being less than 0 and y is less than 0 when it's below the x-axis. So that would be this part of the curve. So let's just show you that again, that part of the curve. 
and that part of the curve lies between minus 3 and 5 over 2. So any value of x between these values will always return a y value, that's this quantity here, which is less than 0, a negative number. And we can summarize that by saying from the graph we find that x lies between, so we can write it like that, lies between minus 3 and 5 over 2. And that's how I handle quadratics, inequalities that are uh, mixed up like this one, where it never is greater than or less than zero.